This is freaking insane. Right now, it's about 1.30 p.m. on the East Coast, ladies and gentlemen, and Tesla stock is up not one, not two, not five, but another almost 10% after going up over 10% yesterday. So this stock is now up on the month, I think 60%. Let me take a look here on the intraday chart very quickly. Tesla is, oh, well, not the intraday chart. The uh, Let's pull the 20-day. Tesla's up from 101 to now 100. It peaked at 178 bucks so far today. We have two and a half hours left. It might go to 180 plus today for all we know. But overall, forget 60%, guys. This is up 75% from the $100, $101 level that was hit literally three weeks ago. To the day, I'm not even kidding. On the 6th of January, we hit 101. Now it's the 27th of January. We're at 176 bucks as I'm making this video. Unbelievable. And I did call out this relief rally. You guys know that, right? But did I think it was going to be this crazy? Heck no. I did not think it was going to be this crazy, which is why I always say when it comes down to stocks like Tesla, stocks like you know the the growth uh, the growth beasts out there, the hype stocks, if you will, you know GameStop. Well. GameStop and AMC, they're not growth beasts. They're just hype stocks. Uh, well, they were. Now they're kind of uh, dwindling down. But either way, when it comes down to these hype stocks, you can't underestimate them. And you can't be like, oh, that's not going to happen. Oh, it's that's out of the cards because nothing's really out of the cards. I mean, if you told me it was going to go up 75% in three weeks, I would have told you, all right, maybe not, maybe not 75%. You know, that's a little bit too much. You know, I would have thought maybe 20%, 30%. But again, the stock market tends to shock you or surprise you, if you will, which in this case, that's exactly what we're seeing. So let's break down Tesla's chart right now and talk about levels that I'm looking at. And we'll talk about some other stocks that I'm looking at as well, guys. So if you all find value, hit that like button, make sure to subscribe. And of course, get your free stocks from Moomoo and from Weeble. Link down below. All the details are in the description box. So Tesla right now is up 10.4%. And you guys remember that level that we talked about yesterday, right around 160, I believe, 165. Well, Lo and behold, we took that level out. Look at this. If I if I zoom in a bit, you guys are going to see we took that level out no problem, like butter. I mean, we cut through that like butter. It was nothing. Tesla ended up breaking above. I think that was in the pre-market, if I'm not mistaken. Um, no, we were struggling under it in the pre-market, under 165. Then once the markets opened, we had some price action, some trading, you know, 5, 10, 15 minutes in. Tesla blew right through that point, like I said, like butter. And from that point, I mean, it's just been, you know, sh ripping straight up since that point. And, 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 you know, if I pull up this chart, you guys are going to see the 165 level, that was support in the middle and, and in the early days of November. So the fact that we took that out, even though it's extremely overbought now, and it was overbought yesterday, just keeps on going, guys, right? Even though it's overbought, we could be getting straight to 200 at this point. Maybe not straight to 200, but let's say now that we broke 165, we're in the mid-170s, let's say the dust settles for a little bit. You know, we start cooling off at 165, 170, RSI cools off a bit. We could then make a move towards 200, potentially. You know, it's, it's not 100% guaranteed. Obviously, nobody knows what's going to happen, but the fact that Tesla kind of proved me wrong here, it broke 165, it looks like the bulls are not playing around. Now, is Tesla completely breaking out of the downtrend? Is it all sunshine and rainbows now? No. I mean, it's not there yet. Uh, not nearly there. I mean, if you look at, at the three-year chart, even with this crazy run of 75%, we're still in a downtrend on the three-year chart and on the one-year chart. Keep that in mind. But it has made some significant it's made up a lot of ground. Let's put it that way. And this yearly chart is very important to look at. If I zoom in a little bit here, you guys are going to see we're still under some key levels. Like I said, 200, that's a point of resistance from early December. That could be where we go in the very short term. Now, after that, we're talking 230 to about 235. That's going to be a big sticking point for Tesla, which is also right by the 180 SMA on this one-year chart, which that is going to be the very big, um, that, that's going to be a big point for the stock. That's going to be the moment of truth. That's going to be a big test because if it fails at two, sure, it could go to 200 in the short term. Sure, it could do that. But if it fails to break 200 to 225, right by this 180 SMA, that is where we could be seeing yet again another 
bull trap, right? Or, or, or a point where we start selling off again, right? You know, in other words, this rally would have just been a bear market rally. It would have been a heck of a bear market rally at that, but it would have been a bear market rally. So we'll see, guys, what happens at about 200 to 225. This is going to be the moment of truth, and I'm not convinced that we're going to break out of that, especially because we're up 75%. I mean, come on, in, in three weeks, guys. Let's not get unrealistic here. I mean, I know a lot of people that are in Tesla right now are jumping up and down. They're excited. They think the bull market's back, but it's not back. It's it's just not. I mean, it's not breaking out of those longer term trends that I showed you guys. And I'm just trying to be real. You know, I'm not trying to pick a side or you know sway your guys' opinion. I don't give a crap about you know what you guys do. Well, I I care about you guys, but I don't. At the end of the day, I'm not here to tell you what to do or try and make you do one thing or the other. I don't care what you guys do. You, you know what I mean, right? It's, it's up to you at the end of the day. Um, I'm just here keeping it real and, and letting you know, you know, listen, if we do get the 200, 180, 185, wherever we go, and we start dumping aggressively after that, do not be surprised. I mean, Elon, I'm sure, um, you know, he had a lot to do with this pump here, the, the conference call. We're not going to get into that in this video. But, you know, when Elon, <laughs> when Elon talks... He's, he's got magic. You know, the words that he that he says, uh, sometimes, you know, he's got a way with words. And investors, traders, people eat it up. And we'll see if it lasts. You know, I'm not convinced that it will. You know, I'm not 100% convinced that it will. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, though, guys, as it's just, uh, it's just been a crazy day. It's been a crazy day. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And look, there's other stocks. You know it's one of those days. I've said this before. You know it's one of those wild days when Beyond Meat is up, <laughs> Beyond Meat, the garbage, horrible company, Beyond Meat, is up 22% today. And you guys know this stuff is just, first of all, and I'm not going to bash on Beyond Meat in this video too much because I've done it before. The company is awful. The product is garbage. It's awful for you. Uh, I don't know who would invest in this. but <laughs> And that's when you know it's a crazy uh, you know, the bulls are the bulls are winning the day. In other words, when we have Beyond Meats up 21%, Coinbase is up 14%, GameStop is up today 11%, Tesla is up 10%. So today is the day of the retail investor, right? No doubt about it. Uh, and, and look at this. Even though Beyond Meat, I think, is an awful company, I would never invest in it. I think it's going to go bankrupt someday or may potentially get bought out by some other company. I have no idea. But, I mean, just look at the stock tra stock chart, guys. You know, this is not a company that's successful <laughs> that went from 240 to now $11. You know, that's not a company that's doing well, in other words, right? Uh, but in the short term, we can look at it as a trade, or at least I'm looking at it as kind of a trade here. Uh, I'm not FOMOing into it now, of course, but... It broke out of 17 bucks, which is good. It's actually at a multi-month high right now. Now let's see if the dust can settle on Beyond Meat. Maybe to about 17, 18 bucks, we could end up picking it up there. We shall see. But again, as a long-term position, you couldn't pay me to buy Beyond Meat. If you gave me a thousand bucks and you're like, here, Stas, this is for Beyond Meat stock, I would not take the money. I swear to God, guys, that's how bad it is. Uh, but yeah, Coinbase is also breaking out. Look at this. It's taken out the highs from, you know, earlier this week, also a couple weeks ago. It's at a multi-month high now, to be honest, uh, to be, uh, wow, it, it really is. Now, now look at that. And we also, on top of that, have an inverse head and shoulders. You guys prob probably can see it here, the left shoulder, the head. You guys see that, right? Then we have the right shoulder right here. So we have that inverse head and shoulders playing out, meaning there could be even more upside on this right shoulder, maybe towards mid 60s 70s but then again that's going to be a big resistance if it does end up getting into the you know low mid 70s that's going to be a big resistance for the stock now GameStop is also moving that's when you know the retail investors are um you know are doing well in the day or it's a, it's it's a day of um you know the the bulls being in charge if we're seeing stocks like the, the ones I just mentioned going up. We have GameStop now. We also have an inverse head and shoulders on. We're about to test 2250, which is a very big level of resistance from, you know, months ago. We held it throughout the beginning of September, throughout all the way, you know, into December. We held 2250, then we broke under it. It became resistance. Now we're testing it again. If this breaks, 2250, right shoulder starts moving. We have a lot more upside, in my opinion, on GameStop. You know, this could go mid-high 20s. 
in my personal opinion. And of course, I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments down below. So it's one of those days, guys. Meta is up a ton, although Meta is actually, in my opinion, a pretty decent fundamentally uh, sound company. I don't know about what you guys think, but Meta starting to break out. It's looking pretty good. Uh, we're about to test a big level here, mid 150s on Meta, which you can see that was support all throughout the middle of June, throughout, let's see here, the middle of September. So that's now resistance. If we do break the mid 150s, guys, this could start running. Uh, let's see here. The next major gap to fill would be anywhere from 170, maybe all the way up to towards 180 bucks. So Meta looks pretty solid here. Now look at Beyond Meat again, guys. It keeps on pumping. It's up 25% now. What is going on here, man? Look at that. That's definitely a short squeeze. It's got to be. Um, this thing is up. Oh, wow. Look at that. So, yeah, 25% for Beyond Meat. What else is moving here today, guys, before we wrap up the video? Uh, ba -ba -da -ba. I, mean, I mean, everything is moving. You know, we talked about some other stocks earlier. If you guys didn't check out that video, five stocks that are breaking out, go watch that. It's my previous video before this one. And I guess that's it. I mean, listen, the market's are crushing right now. They were pretty much at break even in my last video. Now everything is in the green. Spies up about 0.4%. We have triple Q up 1.2%. And I'm almost tempted at this point to to to, to trade S triple Q. Honestly, I'm not. I haven't pulled the trigger yet, but I'm almost tempted to to nibble a little bit. And if you guys didn't know, S triple Q is an inverse ETF. It's very risky. It's not something that. 95% of people should mess with, but if you're, you know, looking to trade in the short term and these are not meant to be held long term, do not hold these long term. These are for short term trading. Do not let anyone else tell you otherwise. These inverse leveraged ETFs, literally in the prospectus, guys, they say it's for short term trading. They decay over time. You're going to get screwed if you buy and hold this for five years or a couple, you know, a couple months. That's not the point of these. But in the short term, let's say like a day, two days, couple days, you can trade these. And I'm almost at the point where I'm like, this market is getting way too hot, way too fast. I mean, triple Q in just the month of, uh, I was going to say December, in January alone, it is up from the beginning of this month. Are you guys ready for this? This thing is up from 260 to now almost 300. Triple Q's up 15% this month. So I'm almost at the point where I'm considering pulling the trigger on a little bit of S triple Q kind of as a hedge, um, you know, in the short term here. And we also have, of course, a lot going on in the next couple of days, which is kind of making me like, oh, maybe I shouldn't do this because we, we have, you know, big companies reporting earnings, the Fed meetings, you know, CPI, all that stuff coming up here. And, you know, the next week, two weeks, maybe I shouldn't pull the trigger. But then the, the guy on my other shoulder is like, Stas, just buy a little less triple Q. I don't know. We'll see. I haven't made my mind up yet. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Uh, you know, what do you think about that? Let me know down below, guys. And with that being said, I'm going to wrap up the video. If you guys found value, hit the like button, subscribe, get all your free stocks, up to 15 stocks for Moomoo and up to 12 fractional shares from Webull. Link down below, 50% off of Seeking Alpha Premium as well for the first year. And you guys could also, if you want, check out my Patreon down below or go to stocksurfest.com slash Patreon. And with that being said, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.